Hi, it's Brandon. I was talking to a friend of mine recently and he had a bunch of questions about autopilot, enhanced autopilot, full self-driving. What are those? When were they sold? What cars have them? How do you find a used car that has what? What's the story? So I'm gonna make this a short video, but I'm gonna explain exactly when those were sold, what cars have them and how you can tell. And I'm gonna work through this video to earn your like and subscribe and check in with me at the end to see if I did so. Okay, firstly, we need to talk about Autopilot 1.0. Tesla first revealed Autopilot in 2014 on their Model S. It was a very limited version of Autopilot. It had two cameras in it and that car was able to do some very basic functions like autopilot, which is essentially lane keeping while the car is doing adaptive cruise control at the same time. It was able to do summon where the car was able to go forwards and backwards on its own, which is really helpful for going in and out of your garage, which was functioning in tandem with its other feature home link where it could open your garage door for you. And a couple other minor pieces like a limited version of auto park where the car actually can back into a spot on its own and do a couple other awesome things but still were kind of limited at the time two cameras means there's one forward facing one backward facing and that system essentially was designed for the first iteration of what today has become a huge suite of software products that tesla is really proud of and eventually is going to be producing with fully autonomous cars next we're going to talk about enhanced autopilot in October of 2016, Tesla had a major change from two cameras up to eight cameras being built standard in all of their cars, Model S, Model 3, Model X, and then today Model Y. When that change happened, they changed over from selling just autopilot to enhanced autopilot, which at the time they announced was going to have all the same features as normal autopilot, but have a lot more input, so it'd be a lot more stable, which was true and would have a number of other features released over time as they develop software to be able to handle that. And so from those other developments have come features like Navigate on Autopilot, um, Smart Summon, which if you haven't seen that already on YouTube, go check out some of the gnarly videos of a Tesla being able to drive around a parking lot completely on its own, and a bunch of other features that I'll talk about once I get to full self-driving. Enhanced Autopilot was sold from late 2016 when they made that change all the way up until February of 2019. Any cars that were built during that time or sold during that time probably have either Enhanced Autopilot or nothing, or possibly Enhanced Autopilot and full self-driving. We'll get to that in a sec. But Enhanced Autopilot basically is Autopilot with a bunch of other extra features. So Enhanced Autopilot includes a bunch of features, but it does not include the futuristic robotaxi mode and autonomous driving and any other entirely full self-driving required features that are still upcoming. And it doesn't include the upgrade for hardware 3.0, which is now built standard on any cars after April of 2019. All right, thirdly, Autopilot. Uh, let me check in real fast and ask how I'm doing so far. If I'm doing okay and you're learning something, please like and subscribe. It actually boosts the video for the YouTube algorithm and that's how they kind of decide which videos to recommend for other people to look at. So thank you very much. Normal Autopilot has been produced since February 28 of 2019. I remember the day because it was my day off as a salesperson and I saw the huge announcement and I freaked out and I called my boss and I called all my coworkers and I was like, hey guys, what's going on? Like, can I come in? Like, I know it's my day off, but I don't mind. Like, I'll just come and hang out for all this exciting stuff. Like, I wanna see the announcement. Everyone was very, very excited about it because this was a big change. Autopilot is just two features. It's auto steer, which is where the car uses its own adaptive cruise control and uses all the cameras to steer for you while you're driving and it's adaptive cruise control. Between February 28th and April 11th, there were a bunch of Teslas that were made that did not have autopilot or enhanced autopilot or full self-driving on them at all. So be very careful if you're looking for a used Tesla. Make sure you check the details on the sale sticker. Number four, full self-driving. Full self-driving is the pinnacle of Tesla's software and it's been worked on for years and today it costs 7,000. When it was first released, it cost 2,000, then 3,000, then 5,000, and it's, it's gone up slowly over time. I do have full self-driving on my car, and so if you have questions about it, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm going to be making a series of videos about full self-driving and the features in it and what it can do and what are still yet to come for full self-driving. Right now, full self-driving is limited by two major functions. One, it's not able to make left or right turns on its own yet. And two, it's not able to find its own parking spot in a parking lot yet. 
Both of these are features that Tesla is working very hard at and probably will have finished at some point this year. But until then, you still need to stay very alert behind the wheel, even if you're using any sort of iteration of autopilot or full self-driving. Another big feature that will be coming out once Tesla does finish all of the full self-driving features is going to be the robo-taxi mode, which is very well known. People are going to be able to use their Teslas as self-driving Ubers to earn money for you all day while you're at work, which that's crazy in and of itself. Check out my video up here if you're interested in looking for a Model 3. This will give you some tips on how to find one, especially if you're now looking for one that has full self-driving. This is gonna get you your best option for getting one the least expensive. And if you have comments, please let me know below. I've been really stoked to respond to your comments so far in my videos, and I'm grateful for all the feedback. Stay safe.